South Africa court rules extradition of alleged Nigerian romance scammers to U.S. for trial. The Cape Town Magistrate Court has ruled that the alleged Nigerian members of the Black Axe Syndicate are to be extradited to the USA. The National Prosecuting Authority NPA Regional Communication Manager Western Cape Eric Natsambilzia Natam Natabazia in a statement of on Tuesday, February 20th, 2024, said Magistrate Ingrid Arsten found that there was sufficient evidence to want their prosecution. The seven accused all Nigerians linked to the alleged romance scam are Pere Asai Gede on on non Izebugi, Franklin Edosa, Osai Gede, Osaremen, Eric Clement, Collins, Nwofasa, Otungo, Musa, Modarishu, and Prince Ebebuchi Mac. Hmm. Hey, well, the 18th accused Tos, Toris Setu Ebra, Gabriel Otubu won his application to have extradition inquiry separated from his co accused. Cape Town Magistrate Court has found alleged members of the Black Axe Syndicate to be liable for extradition to the United States of America and that there was sufficient evidence to warrant their prosecution, the statement read. Recently, court, the court found the offenses for which extradition is sought for alleged members are extradictable. It also found that the certificate that was issued by the United States of America binds the court and there was enough evidence to prosecute them. In a ruling this morning, additional magistrate uh, I. Arsten, often having considered the evidence presented in the extradition inquiry found in terms of section 9 subsection 4a read read with section 10 subsection 1 and section 10 subsection 2 of the extradition act 67 of 1962 that Perry osaigede eronose Izebwe, Franklin Edosa, Osai Gede, Osareme, Eric Clement, Collins, Nwofasa, Otungwo, Musa, Mush, Mudashu, and Prince Ibubechi Mark were liable for extra, extradition to the United States of America and that there was sufficient evidence to warrant their prosecution in the united states of america before i read comments i want to ask a question why is it that our nigerian brothers who go out they know how far things are back home and they will just want to involve themselves in things like this i keep asking these questions because i don't understand why if i have an opportunity um to be in the place where the system works and I will now want to use my hands to soil everything. That is unfair. Somebody say no be Ghana names at the sea. So somebody said no, that's not Ghana names. It's a do names. Another person say God bless South Africa for taking the bold step. Another person say waiting concern black acts and romance scam. Another person say they claim that there are no jobs at home. They travel abroad to steal. Wow, what a question. Somebody say. The, this is so painful. Why would African extradite Africans to the U.S. to face trial when the crime was committed in South uh, African soil? God bless Kungam, Kungame of Rwanda. 
nothing new under the sun and that person say it is even legal it is even legal for us to pay for lands on the planet we were born on i've been a me one meant to <laughs> and that person say in my personal opinion i believe the time has come for african lawmakers to stop signing deals and trade treaty agreements that enslaves our black brothers and sisters they use extradition to disguise modern day slavery how can how many white persons have any african country extradited from europe europe to america to africa to answer their crimes even after all they did to africans africa and they they still doing in africa it is sad and painful reading about this they at please don't surrender the guys without looking deeply and carefully into their crimes we all know americans can lie by all means necessary to get that what they want they also use the media to propagate their fake narratives just to manipulate the people and the judicial system and just and just last year year before the the BRICS summit the american embassy in south africa released a breaking news to south africans and the rest of the world stating that there is stating that there is a bomb attack about to happen in Santon mall south africa without informing the south african authorities before releasing such news that can endanger the security of a country to the general public which was later and uh, investigated and found to be false and fake news few months later the same america reported that the fake news in in abuja <laughs> the fake the in abuja the same last year they also reported that South Africa is selling weapons to Russia, that they found Russian ship dock in South African Sea, which the South African president has to set up an emergency committee to investigate, which proved to be false news. And these are tactics the Americans use to intimidate countries when they want to force something out of you. I have followed this case very closely and each time I read some of their charges, it's laughable and xenophobic. That brings me to the questions of why Americans also use fake theories in Africa. Our leaders and lawmakers should do better in signing some agreements that may benefit Europeans, Europe and Americans. It's, well, it might have a point there, but I don't know. And that person said this is one of the most laughable extradition case, cases I've ever followed in my entire career as a legal person. It is ludicrous la, la, and a transvesty of justice. Lawyers, people should come down with your big, big grammar. It is a witch hunt, in the indictment, a Western Cape sponsored case initiated with a a predetermined outcome to invalidate the accomplishment of those young men and also to fulfill the goals of the financial action tax force hence the adoption of system known as parallel cons construction to execute their plans of human in in annihilation i lived in cape town between 2020 2007 to 2019 and majority of my clients there were nigerians i can tell you without mincing words that the u.s was only compli complicit in this matter and uh, interpol was whose duty is to circulate information was neither compromise or did a lousy job because out of the thousand of the Af africans who doing this scam in the town they select only eight from the same region of nigeria there is a church in that suburb of park lands where all its members are scammers and the pastors boast that the money they make from scam are product of his prophecies there is more to this charade i my close observation of the inside in indicate in indictment sorry only suggests a big 
problem filed in conspiracy theories. Well, Nigerians, people should be careful. Let them not use it to play kusu.